yesterday, essentially, Ben McAdoo, who's now the offensive coordinator in Carolina, said definitively, Sam Darnold is our starting quarterback, and then almost immediately thereafter <laughs> said, oh, I shouldn't have said that. We'll play that for you a little later, but in the interest of saving time, um, th that, he, he said, I put my foot in my mouth. That feels like the spot. Jeff Darlington, is that the spot we're looking at? Where should we be keeping an eye on right now for a potential trade of a guy who, again, was the number one pick in the draft and won the Heisman four years ago? Greeny, I get why we think that's the spot, and I understand that $19 million is not that much for a quarterback, but it is a lot when you've already invested in Sam Darnold, $18 million. So I don't know that it's as clear. I think yeah. there are other teams that could take Baker Mayfield on easier than the Carolina Panthers could right now. So I'm for not example. so convinced that that's ultimately where he ends up. So what are the other teams? I mean, Seattle, namely, is, is still, to me, makes the most sense. But, look, if, if, the, if for some reason the Browns, and I don't expect this to happen, were to cut Baker Mayfield, I think he signs with the Pittsburgh Steelers the very next day. Again, teams do still come mm. at Baker Mayfield. They just don't think that they need to give up as much as the Cleveland Browns are asking right now. This will trigger at some point, and teams will be interested. That day is just not today. Let me say this. That will be quite a day. If Baker Mayfield signs with the Pittsburgh Steelers, be a a team, a, he knocked out of the playoff two years ago as a member of the Cleveland Browns. That will be one of the most interesting developments we've seen in the NFL in a very long time. All right, everybody stay where you are. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.